five uncommon ideas about success. You know, you can have your own definition of success. It could be great health, it could be fabulous relationships, it could be tons of money in the bank, it could be deep spiritual experiences. Whatever it is that you think is success is absolutely fine with me. But I'm going to share five things that most people don't talk about. Now, before I talk to you about the subject matter of this video, I really urge you to subscribe to our channel BND TV so you never miss a video that we upload over here. And don't forget to book that bell button so that you get a notification and you know we have uploaded the video. You usually hear about uh, leadership qualities and charisma and grit and determination and hanging in there and uh, strength of character and, and stuff like that. And this somehow makes success feel like a, a wild dream for most people because they don't identify with those values. Here is my take on the five things that you can do to be successful. Now, I guess the first thing is don't think perfection, think progress. Yeah, you might want like a, a strong, healthy, fit body with bulging muscles and, you know, amazing chest and abs and yeah, absolutely fine. But if you think about that and, uh, you know, you are not really in shape or maybe you are in shape, round is a shape. <laughs> then it feels too far-fetched to even think that you will ever get there. So while you have that idea, look at the progress you have made. Earlier, you couldn't even walk for 10 minutes without feeling out of breath. Now, maybe you are walking half an hour, maybe you are walking 45 minutes. That's brilliant. Earlier, you could not even do one push-up. Now, you are doing five. That's fantastic. So, when you think of success, drop the idea of perfection and think more about progress. How far have you moved? How much has the needle moved for you? The second idea of success that I have is simply showing up. There are many times that I have zero ideas about what I want to speak about, that I have like I hit a writer's block about what I want to write about. Getting to my computer and putting the screen on and starting the document, showing up, being there and starting to write something. You know, in these days, it's not such a big deal. Uh, you can ask ChatGPT and ChatGPT will throw up some topics for you. Getting to the point where you show up to do whatever you are supposed to do. This is very important. A lot of success is simply about showing up, being there, not waiting for some inspiration to strike, but being there so that if it does strike, you are ready. The third idea of success that I have is taking care of yourself. It is very difficult to be successful when your body is not cooperating with you. If you are not exercising, if you are not sleeping enough, if you are not meditating, if you are not eating good healthy food, if you are not taking breaks when you require them, you are heading for a burnout. People who don't make time for health need to make time for disease. It is very, very, very difficult to be successful in any area of your life if your body is not cooperating with you. So take care of your body, get enough sleep, learn and practice meditation, eat a nice green vegetarian healthy uh, locally sourced organic food, exercise, walk 20 minutes, half an hour, go to the gym, do some swimming, do some running, walking, whatever it is you want to do, move. When you bring all this into your schedule, not as leisure, but as an asset towards your goal, you will find that you will get there much faster. When you have a team, acknowledge the good work that people have done. When someone does something great, brilliant, fantastic, tell them, 
people I have seen are really stingy with their praise. Be generous with your praise when people on your team have performed well. If you are too stingy with your praise, people will really do their best to please you and they just give up. And if you are too generous and uh, overwhelmingly goody goody, then people will not work because they know that anyway, whatever they do, you are just going to say some sugar coated something. So be generous with your praise, but let the praise be meaningful and appropriate. Now, on the topic of being generous, say you go out and you go to a restaurant and you had a fantastic meal, a fantastic time. When it is time to tip, be generous with your tip. For you, it is a few hundred rupees or a few dollars. For the other person, it could mean a month's rent. So, when you are giving, give generously, whether it is praise or whether it is a tip, give from your heart. Finally, it is great to create a team who can do stuff that you can't do. I have seen many people fail miserably when there was such amazing potential because they simply didn't do knowledge transfer. They simply didn't teach other people. They simply didn't train other people. They didn't hire people to outsource things that they were clearly not really good at. And here is where a leader needs to be careful. The tendency is to hire people or to work with a team of people who are very similar to you. Now, this will mean that they will have the same weaknesses as you. And so, all the weaknesses will be amplified and your team is not going to get very far. You need to have the ability to make allies out of enemies. When you can do that, then unimaginable goals can be achieved. Having different people with different ideas and different perspectives will give you different ideas and different perspectives which you might have never thought of. I agree, it's a headache to manage a team of very diverse people. But the pros will definitely outweigh the cons and that is where you get to shine as a real leader. So when you have these few things in place, looking at progress instead of perfection, giving attention to your body, ensuring that it gets proper nutrition, proper rest, proper exercise, showing up, being generous in your praise, giving from the heart and creating a fabulous community, creating a team, then I feel that success is going to really come much faster than you can imagine. We will see you in the next one.